G'day, I'm Melissa Shannon, founder of Digital Scrapbooking HQ.com and today I'm here to show you how you can print your photos at home without wasting photo paper. Have you ever wanted to make the most of a sheet of photo paper? I sure have. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Photoshop Elements to make the most of a letter sheet of paper to print your photos. If you're printing at home, you might have found that it's a little bit difficult to make really good use of your sheets of paper because the programs that print your photos may not necessarily make them fit in the best possible way. So here's how you can design your own template to do that. So we're going to first start by clicking on the shape tool and we're going to choose 6 by 4 inches which is a standard photo size and then um, from the fixed size drop down in the tool options bar. Click once, click twice and these are two photo spots. Now of course it would be a more efficient use of space to rotate these. So let's go to image, rotate, rotate layer 90 degrees left then you can see our photos beautifully fit within the size. Now when I'm laying out this template to make it easier for me to cut the photos apart I prefer to just have a single line but you might prefer to you know have a little gutter there you'll have to trim all the sides or you might like a white border so you might want it further apart so you can just play with that however you see fit. Now what about this last space here? Can we fit another 4 by 6 Let's see. Yes, we can. So we can fit 1, 2, 3, 4 by 6s on this sheet. So let's save that. But what if we want to do something else? What if we want to have some different sizes for our photographs? Well, we can, do, we can change that up by changing the fixed dimensions. You can change it to, say, 3 by 4 and you could fit those along the bottom. Now because a letter paper sheet is 8.5, you can't really fit three across here. But if you wanted to, you could always decide to pop in a different size, like a two by two and fit that in and fit those in the remaining space. Just click once to create the shape. Now when you've finished laying out this to make the most of your paper, it's time to add the photos. So click on a shape that you want to fill and then click and drag your photo on. In this case, I want my photo rotated, so I'm going to go to Rotate, Layer 90 degrees left. It's very important to select Layer because otherwise your whole page will be flipped. Of course, you might like that um, if you want a more horizontal layer. Well, let's go to the Layer menu and go to Create Clipping Mask or Alt, Control, Alt, G. I'll just cover up all that red with the photo zoom it and you know I've got really great control over how I print them out and I'll do the same for the other photos. Click on the photo spot, drag the photo on, Control alt g or Command Option G on a Mac, add that photo and continue the process. You can also drag down, drag your photo down from the main window onto your template and that will give you the same result. So I'm just going to continue that and fill my whole sheet. can even use the same photo twice and crop them differently. Oh, 
And then one last one, I'll drag down. Control G, oh no. And you can also move the photos through on your layers panel if you've popped it in the wrong spot. Control Alt G or um, create clipping mask. There we go. So now we have got one, two, three, four, five, six photos all nicely laid out. Now, once you know the way that you prefer to have your photos printed, you'll want to customize this template to make it work for you. But if you like the way I've got it set up, then just scroll down and in the notes below this video, I'll have a link for you to download your very own photo template so that it's super easy for you to create your own photo prints at home. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you'd like to learn more about digital scrapbooking or Photoshop elements, head to digitalscrapbookinghq.com.